Hey guys, Buster's in the corner looking at you. Oh, no, now he's going to sleep. Welcome to another TCG video. I'm really excited for this one because uh, I'm not going to play a match today, but I have lots and lots of packs to open. So in our PO box, we got a little gift from someone and uh, I got a bunch of like random codes. Um, I Gosh, I forgot the name of the person who sent it already. I'll have to check. Um, but thank you so much. Wow, like I have Steam Siege, Primal Clash, Phantom Forces, Furious Fist, Flashfire, Fates Collide, Evolutions, Breakthrough, Breakpoint, Ancient Origins, and XY Base Pack. Ancient Origins is from uh, a whole booster box we just opened recently. But, um,. Let's get into the XY. I, I know these are probably, I'm assuming, kind of valuable for trades, but I really just want to open them and see what's inside. So let's just get right ahead and do that because there's so much to open. I won't be opening any evolutions because I think I'm going to use those for trade. Um, but yeah, and I'm not sure what I'm looking for in this. Trevenant, Forest Curse, okay. I have no idea if that is a good card or not. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but I did see a beautiful Full Art Blastoise. I just played against someone with a Full Art Blastoise from the XY pack, and I thought it was really pretty. I kind of want it in real life, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't really want to open up uh, XY packs in real life though because they're probably really expensive or something. I don't know. But yeah, ooh, I'm so excited. I do need a couple of trainers from like Ancient Origins and Breakpoint or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But I do need a couple of trainers. Um, I'm this close to finishing the deck that I want to. It's it's a Gyarados deck. I'll say it right now. It's a Gyarados um, Ancient Origins Gyarados slash uh, Shaman slash um, Octillery deck, Remoraid Octillery. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to try that out. Let's open Breakpoint. I think I need a trainer from this. I can't remember which trainer, but whatever. Oh, Puzzle of Time! This, this is exactly what I needed. I needed one more. I only I have three and I needed four, so that's kind of cool. I got I got exactly what I want. And a Darkrai EX! Wow, look at that. Look at that. Fighting Fury Belt. Wow. Oh man. Okay. This is off to a really good start. Really good. The XY base, base pack um, didn't really give me much, but at least not that I know of. Greninja. We have Blitzel. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Breakpoint is great. Super great. Okay. Raticate. Can you not? Can you not? All right. Whew. This is exciting to me. <laughs> I'm just like already excited. I'm going to play a match right after this, I think. Possibly. Slow King! Hollow! Nice! I have no idea if I'm going to use that, but it's really nice. Pharaoh Seed. Another Puzzle of Time! A. Hey. Okay. Another Slow King. Alright. I think I got everything I needed from the Breakpoint so far. So we're just kind of seeing what we get here. Shift Dry. Ooh, should I, should I open the Ancient Origins next? think so. Palkia! EX! I don't think I've ever gotten that yet. That's really cool. Ooh, girl. Yes. This is the best. This is the best ever. I've been, I've been putting this off and like waiting uh, to record this for a few days now and I've, I've been wanting to open these packs so bad and I've had to like contain, like, um, control myself so that I don't open it off camera. You have no idea how tempting it's been. Alright, we got a Luxray and another Raticate. Let me talk just a sec about conceding in this game because I was just practicing 
Um, right before- Ooh, Darkrai EX again. Ooh, nice. Wow, I think I have like three of those total. Possibly just those two that I just did, but I'm pretty sure I had one. So, let's just talk about conceding because it's something that's been on my mind. Oops, I, I went to get more. It's something that's been on my mind, especially after what just happened. Um, let's open Breakthrough now. So I was playing with the new Lunala deck, um, the ones they, I, I don't remember how I got it. Um, I was playing with the Lunala GX deck and, um, ooh, another Mr. Mime, cool. And I was doing it, the whole reason I even started the match was because I wanted to complete a challenge, Empoleon is good. Um, I wanted to complete a challenge of knocking out Pokemon with your uh, Psychic Pokemon. And, oh, Mega Glalie! Glalie EX, yay! I think that's the first Mega one I've ever gotten. That is so awesome. I, I might actually use that. Um, I'm going to need more, though. <laughs> Not just the one, so I can't use it yet. At least I don't think. Um, but I can try. Man, that was really good. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, I've lost my train of thought. That was so exciting. Um, so yeah, I was like about to knock, knock out the la his last Pokemon. Like it was the only one left, and I was gonna win. And then he just conceded right there. I'm like, oh, cool, freaking thanks. Um, and I'm sure he wasn't trying to be rude or anything because I actually read on a Reddit. Red, I guess you can call it. I'm not like a Reddit person. Ooh, Octillery. Um, I don't go on Reddit a lot. I just like Googled something real quick one time and I saw a Reddit post talking about how people were salty about the fact that um, TCG Online is like banning people or suspending people or something like that over like conceding too much and they, they need like a certain ratio of like um, fully playing the game versus conceding and people in the comments were saying like you know oh that's wrong because you know conceding is actually oh vile plume conceding is actually you know kind to both players like it's a win-win because you don't waste each other's time and stuff like that so that I can understand if you pull just a really crappy hand and the game has just like barely even started and you already know you're hecka gonna lose like there's no question about it and you still have a bunch of prize cards left and you're like definitely gonna lose and it, it in that case I can see why just stopping the game and letting the other person win is um, will save time for both people um, and then they they get to win they get their little uh, progress for the, the prizes and stuff like that but I think if you're at the very end of a freaking match and the other person is about to knock you out, just let them knock you out. Like seriously, because like you don't know if that person is trying to complete a challenge or not and it, it will literally take you two more seconds to allow that person to knock you out and get defeated fully rather than conceding the game. Like I'm sure that other person was not like trying to be rude or anything, but I, I feel like people really need to like gauge whether or not they should con they should really concede or not and if if they're if what they're doing ooh Hoopa EX ooh awesome bring in bull art that's really cool and they need to really like um, pay attention to like is this um, really saving each of us time ooh nice mega septal EX don't know if I'll use it but that's really cool but yeah, I just I just feel like people shouldn't automatically assume that conceding is, you know, favorable to both people because sometimes it's really not and sometimes it just makes me like not even want to play the game and not even want to start another match. Ooh, guard war, cool. Um cuz I definitely can tell you after that match, I was like, "Wow, I don't even want to start another match because people just concede like so quickly now it's like oh if I'm gonna lose I'm just gonna concede and it's like maybe in some situations yeah and then other situations 
it's not actually favorable for both people so just really think about that when you're playing this game like especially if you're about to lose like maybe the other person is trying to do a challenge or something like that and it really will take like two seconds out of your day to like just let them defeat you <laughs> it's not that it's not that crazy giratina ex i think that's pretty useful um i know i've seen a couple of decks that use giratina I'm not sure if this is a Giratina though, but I think it is, which is kind of exciting. I'll have to look at it later. <laughs> I hope I'm not like super cringy when I talk about, um, you know, like cards, like playable cards and like decks and stuff like that, because I really don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> I'm not like super well versed in like competitive play at all. Um, I'm, I'm totally learning right now, like I'm a total noob. Um, Tyranitar EX, cool. Yep, so I looked up some competitive decks recently and I'm just trying to emulate them um, and practice with them and test them out and see if they're really fun to play with. So I'm kind of excited about that. I have completed one already and I'm gonna test it out. So look forward to that. And that is the Gyarados deck. Kyurem EX. Cool. Cool, cool. This is still Ancient Origins, right? <laughs> yeah? Okay. La la la, Metagross. Metagross. Lots of Magikarps. I'm gonna need more... Ooh, Energy Retrieval. Secret Rare. Cool. Um, I'm gonna need more of those little, like, full art, uh, Gyaradoses right about now. We got the Gloom. Okay, Claydol can suck it. Don't, don't care for Baltoy or Claydol. We got another Gloom. Registeel. Ooh, another Secret Rare. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Wow, I have so many packs <laughs> right now. I'm so happy. Okay, Regirock. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'm pretty excited about this. So many options. I'm gonna have so many options. It's gonna be great. Metagross. I'm kind of... <laughs> that's kind of cool. I like that it's um, the reverse. I don't think I've, I've gotten a reverse uh, Metagross, like, full art looking thing like that. What do they call it? It's not a full art, but it's, like, the one where it's, like, a fake full art. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I like this Oddish. Okay. One day, I want to make, like, a super flashy competitive deck. Just flashiness. Vile Plume. Vile Plume. I love Vile Plume. Oddish and Gloom are some of my favorite Pokemon because I'm literally Gloom. Like most of, most of the day, about 90% of the day, I am Gloom. So. And then about 5% of the day, I'm Wooper. Usually towards the end of the day, I'm definitely Wooper. And then who else do I feel like? <laughs> I feel like ditto sometimes, just melting into the ground. What 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 kind of Pokemon are you? Like if you could relate to, let's say, two to three Pokemon, who would you be? I feel like we're we're different Pokemon at different times of the day. <laughs> Most of the time I'm just Bloom though. Occasionally I'm Oddish. Another Vileplum! Yes. I just like saying vile plumes and like, hey whooper, look at that. See, I'm I'm that about five percent of the day, which I feel like you should make it a goal to make this uh ah! what what just happened? What just happened? Did you see that? What was that? I don't know what just happened. I clicked it and I didn't really look at what it was. Was that a request for a match? Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, I hope it wasn't, because I just, I think, uh, is that Crunchy Potato? 
I think that was crunchy potato. Oh, was it a trade? I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, let's just keep opening. Let's do flash fire. I have not opened flash fire decks in real life and I really want to because they're so sick. Ooh, ooh. Pidgeotto, Barbareckle. I only have a couple of these, that's okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna open up flash fire decks on um, Dino's second channel, Poke Style. Ooh, Weavile. Um, either when we when he hits 10k or 15k or something like that. So go over to that channel, check it out, subscribe, and when we hit 10k or 15k, uh, we're gonna open up a Flash Fire booster box. It's gonna be sick. Focus Sash. Cool. Electivire. Open another. Sorry if this video is quite long. I just have so many packs to open and I don't really want to split it up. Um, I just want to open up all of these right now. All right, let's do Phantom Forces. Whew! And then we will do uh, Face Collide. And yeah, Pumpkaboo! I know Night March uh, is no longer standard legal. I just read that actually on an article about um, what is phasing out of standard now and Night March is out. It's out of there. So Pumpkaboo is not useful. He's not actually useful. So Diggersby, we got lots of new trainers here. So that's nice. That's cool. Okay, thanks Klein. We don't have two more, uh, too many left, so bear with me. Please stay with me here and see what I get. Omastar, cool. Let's just do this real quick so that we can get to playing. We can get to some matches. Omastar Bright Card, yes. Oh, Mega Altaria EX, awesome. I think I have one more of those, um, so that's pretty cool. Lots of Larvitars and Snorlax. And another Larvitar. Zygarde. Gangaston. Bronzong. Alright, let's see here. Carving. Okay. Can you not? Grumpig! And a Tyranitar holographic. Cool. <sighs> Fossil excavation. Ooh, another break card. Del Fox. I think I have another one of those. And a Deancey. Awesome. This is really good. Uh, man, I'm so excited to play with these right now. Okay, Team Rocket's handiwork. Oh, Mega Audino EX. That's. I think that's the first time I've gotten that, right? I may have gotten that another time, but... Man, that's so cool. I wish I had that card in real life. It's so pretty. Okay, carving. No. Just no. No. Who plays with carving? Do you play with carving? Probably not. No one plays with carving. No one likes you. Aerodactyl. Diancy EX again. Okay. <coughs> oh, I followed that. Okay. Barbaracle. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Barbaracle? Barbaracle? Okay. Ew! Oh my god! Oh my god, what? Glaceon EX, that's so pretty. I don't know if it's useful. I, I have no idea if it's useful, but I'll figure that out later. For now, it's just a pretty card. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, Tyranitar Hollow again. I think I have a bunch of those. <sighs> Man, this is so exciting. Okay, Aerodactyl again. Another Aerodactyl. I think I have like four or five of those now. Um... Oh! Full Art Team Rocket's Handiwork. I've never even seen this card before. It's really pretty. All right, that's it for, uh, what was that, Face Collide? Let's do the last four. Okay, two Primal Clash. 
And then two Steam Siege. I do need something from Steam Siege. I think I need like, I don't know, like an energy charge thing. I forget what it's called, but we'll find out. There's Kyogre. If I get it, I'll, I'll, I'll know what it, <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I just forget what it is right now. Okay. And if I don't get it, it's okay. I have plenty of stuff to trade. It's not like an uncommon card or anything like that. So whatever, I'll just trade for whatever I need after this. All right. Weavile. And the very last one is... No? A Spiritomb. Okay, I did not get what I needed. But thank you so much for watching. I know it was kind of long, but that was really exciting. I got so many things that I can play around with now. Um, and we have these evolutions for trade. So thank you so much for watching. Please add me on here. Um, it's just Kayla Viola. And I will totally add you and go ahead and request, you know, matches with me anytime you'd like if I am online and I will probably accept unless I do what I just did earlier and just press buttons without realizing what I'm doing and I'm sorry if I do that but yeah request a match for me anytime and you know let's play so thank you for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye